glossy slick um, of sauce. So it's corn flour. A little bit of corn flour goes a long way in a stir fry sauce like this. That so gives it the shine. It gives it the shine, it gives it the glossiness, and it oh, also gives done. it a thickness. Heck you out. Oh, yes. so she, she's been doing that a long time now. She's been reading the notes here <laughs> that gives the shine. I know, yeah. Um, okay, so we've got our steak wow. literally fried for about a minute or two either side. Um, and now, if you're kind of worried about it, I, oh, Shane, even oh, backwards on. Oh, go. it's all like, kicking off. Second reel. It's <laughs> only early in the morning, haven't had me coffee yet. Um, push it off the pan, and look, like I said, don't be worried about those, um, those dark bits at the bottom. You've got most of your steak got that little bit of char, but it's still gonna be nice and tender in the center. Now, we're gonna put the heat back on here. Don't worry about the browned bits at the bottom. We're gonna add a little touch more of the sesame oil, and to this, we're gonna add in our onions. Now, with the onions, we're gonna stir fry really quickly, and as they fry off, like I said, the steam is released. It's gonna to help to break up those little brown bits, and that's where the flavor, the meat, nice. it, the moments I see people cleaning the pan after, like, what's going on in here, yeah. that's when I get really upset, because you're just not gonna get the flavor um, from the meat throughout this, this lovely dish. So it's a very simple way of getting lots of flavor. Lovely. Now, um, if it does look like, now I will say, if it starts to look like it's burning a little bit, a little bit of rice wine um, will just deglaze it. So as this onion is cooking out, you'll get that nice sizzle, and it'll just help to kind of incorporate a little bit of that. And if you don't have that, a splash of water will do the job okay. and it'll help you. But you can see immediately that little bit of liquid gets into the pan. It starts turning the onions really nice and golden and brown. Um, so keep that moving and just use your kind of your spatula to, to kind of work it into it. Um, and again, like with this, we're stir frying quite quickly. I don't have a wok here and I think a lot of people at home don't necessarily have a wok or something, you know, that will get you the heat. So I'm doing it in a pan just to show you how easy it can be to do. So once that is nicely uh, mixed through and you're gonna let that kind of fry out, we're gonna get in there with our broccoli. I've got some nice tender stem broccoli here or uh, you could use any veggie, any green veggie here you like. Spring onions go in as well. And we're gonna pop that in there. We've got some for garnish and some for um, some for the interior of this lovely pan, so it's very easy to do. And so, Tommy, how have good. you been handling the stress? Actually, we might have a clip of the way that Donald Skeen <laughs> handles stress during lockdown. Oh, jeez. Hi guys, look, I know everybody's struggling at the moment, so I've actually come up with a really brilliant tip um, that'll just help you get through a bit of the lockdown. So just pop outside for a minute. So just start off by taking a deep breath in. There you have it, you should feel much better. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, we've what all I do. been there. That was we've a genuine moment. <laughs> now, I do that into my fridge when my kids ask me for another snack. It's like, are you joking me? You've oh. just had your dinner. I Why do they always want snacks? Why can the meals not sustain them? Oh, dinner. Exactly. Snack. Last night I was doing bedtime and my little three-year-old turned to me and was, can I have a snack? <laughs> <laughs> it's not time for a snack. Yeah. We've just bedtime. done the entire bedtime process. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is not in the bedtime oh, routine. Not in the bedtime routine. Oh, oh. my goodness. But yes, goodness. I, I think we've all had those moments. Yes, in we certainly have. Um, okay, let's keep uh, one minute. So oh, one minute. Oh, right? Jesus. Yes. Okay, right. So, uh, Ready, sauce steady, goes cook back here. in. Here, here we show. go. Sauce goes in. We've got that lovely corn flour, ginger, garlic mixture. Um, I like to do it under pressure, Tommy, yes, of course so you, you know yes. yourself. So get yeah, that sauce going in there, you're going to mix it through. I added a little bit of the rice wine, which is going to deglaze the pan, like I said. So you've got the acidity, kind of got sharpness, and now you're getting all that great flavor. I want this to be hotter. Um, so once this comes up, you're going to add back in your beef, and I've added uh, some rice to a pan, which we've cooked off as well. So beef goes back in. We're going to leave it just to kind of coat that lovely sauce, and you're going to get that nice and glossy. But like I said, it's the corn flour here, the soy sauce, the ginger, the garlic, all those great things are going to give you really nice tender um, meat. So in terms of your rice, through. very quickly, do you yes. rinse your rice to so get So rinse it your rice under cold water. For ages and ages. Just until, until it goes clear. Right. Then uh, The water goes clear. Water goes clear. And the best way, this is the way for perfect rice, literally, a cup of rice, two cups of water, into the pot, lid on, keep it simmering until that rice has been absorbed. Full Until the rice. water's water. been absorbed. What did I say? The rice, rice has been absorbed. I yes. am really so paying attention. <laughs> Mac, you're, you're going to be making this tonight. So, no. um, so look, once that's um, literally cooked through, you should be good to go and you should have rice to get ready to rock. And they're telling me one minute, so I better go, I better yeah. go faster. Not well, we're actually telling you. Yeah. Okay, so I feel there. Here, I'll get you some rice. So rice goes into bowl, and then look, that's your dinner sorted. Really simple stuff and very flavorful and very easy to do. And uh, if you want the rest of it, it's as well, it's kitchen. good. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, while you're plating up, uh, yes. we have for you coming up after the break, we're going to be talking about how we can keep the spark alive in our relationship during lockdown. That's coming up with Stephanie. Look at all uh, with that. Have a quick oh, taste. Look at anyway, I could do with yes. a bit of that now. <laughs> I'm in a love life. <laughs> Um, so look, we're going to dive in there. Can I try, try it? Try it. Karen shaves his hair. Hang no, on, I know. I'll go. taste mine during the break. You'll uh, taste yours during the break. We 
will okay. have a quick break. Tasty? Oh. Yeah, I look forward oh. to tasting mine. We'll see you after this. Anytime. Well done! <laughs> well done. <laughs> Did you know odours get trapped in your home's fabrics and are released back over time? The Breeze Fabric Refresher eliminates odours for an all-over freshness you'll love. All right, everyone, I want to address the elephant in the room. No, not you, Lola. The tea. We're switching to Lion's Tea now. Why? These tea bags are biodegradable, while some still use plastic. I know, I would be speechless too. But we can change this. All of us, even you. For a limited time only, the Grand Big Mac is back at McDonald's. And there's nothing grander than a Grand Big Mac. From those extra few minutes, to that extra push, those extra few inches, and those final touches. Hi guys, we'll get started. We're always considering our options. Next time your car insurance is up for renewal, it's worth considering your options here too. Consider the insurer that will provide savings on great value car insurance. Consider AIG. We were told the game was over before we'd even started. We were told our bodies weren't made for it. It wasn't our time to play. We played anyway. And together we played like there was no tomorrow. And they told us that was fine. You can play. You're good enough. And thought that was good enough for us. It wasn't. We are relentless. The game isn't over until we say it's over. Until we get everything we've given everything for. Until we level the playing field. Lidl, proud supporters of ladies Gaelic football. When you love someone, you do anything to protect him. Really, anything. So you can enjoy the full taste of Muti tomatoes. I am Francesco Muti, and no one loves tomatoes as much as I do. Muti, one family, one passion. Tomatoes. Curiosity is everywhere. Follow yours wherever it might take you. With Vodafone's super fast gigabit broadband now available to more people than ever before. I found him. At Energia, we're the power behind your rescue and your biggest winter savings when you come direct to us and switch to our cheapest dual fuel bundle. Energia, the power behind your savings. Rated excellent on Trustpilot. You're not getting this back. What is it? It's the Lenore Dream Team. Just condition as usual, boost with the matching scent and go. It's just too good. Good morning, you're very welcome back. Let's take a look now at our top stories this morning. It's hoped the worst of the third wave of COVID-19 has now passed, with the number of patients in hospital with the virus falling around the country. But while the new case figures are dropping, the deaths of 68 people with COVID were reported last night. The government here says any reopening of the economy will be slow, with schools the first priority. The U.S. Senate has voted to proceed with the impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump. The trial opened to the Senate with graphic video footage of the deadly attack in Congress last month. Donald Trump is accused of inciting insurrection, a charge he denies. Just six Republicans joined Democrats in voting to go ahead with the trial. 
and the pilot of the helicopter which crashed last year, killing basketball star Kobe Bryant, had probably become disorientated in the fog. Well, that's according to U.S. safety investigators who examined the circumstances behind the crash in California last January. Kobe Bryant's young daughter and seven others were also killed. Now let's take a final look at sports. Here's Will. Thanks, Siobhan. Peter Armani has been banned for three games by a disciplinary panel after his red card against Wales last Sunday. Munster captain was sent off in the 14th minute for this incident at the Principality Stadium. Armani will miss the games against France, Italy and Scotland. However, he's free to play from March 15th, so will be available for Ireland's final Six Nations game against England on March 20th. Manchester United are through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup after they beat West Ham at Old Trafford last night, but United needed extra time to seal off the London side. Substitute Scott McTominay got the game's only goal in the first half of extra time to claim his team's place in the draw for the next round, which will take place on Thursday evening. And Serena Williams is through to the third round of the 2021 Australian Open. The seven-time winner beat Nina Stojanovic in just an hour and nine minutes. The American claiming victory in straight sets, 6-3, 6 love. That's all for me. Tune in throughout the day for the latest updates from Virgin Media Sports. Time now for a look at the weather forecast with Derek. Quote Devil.ie can save you money on your home insurance, fan insurance, car insurance, or life insurance. The quote Devil's always got one hell of a quote. Thanks very much, Will. Final update here from a snowy Glen Cullen in South County Dublin. We do now have an extension on that status yellow snow and ice warning now in place for counties Dublin, Kildare, to Louth, Wexford, Wicklow, Westmeath, also through counties Meath, Cavan, Monaghan, and now into County Waterford. So we're looking at scattered hail, snow accumulations as well, icy stretches on untreated surfaces, and that warning now in place until 9 pm this Wednesday night. That's 9 pm later on this evening, so please do take extra care. Bitterly cold out there this morning and valleys there back to about minus one to three degrees. Now right across today those wintry showers hanging on to eastern and northern areas. We'll see bright spells for a time. Actually not a bad day in store but again add in that wind chill factor so a bitterly cold one out there today about one to three but feeling a lot colder because of those easterly winds about minus one to minus two. And finally then tonight it'll settle down for a time. We have a widespread sharp to severe ground frost icy stretches as well but we will see that system feed in from the southwest, and that will bring with it snow showers as the collides with that easterly air mass uh, starting off in Munster into Thursday morning and overnight lows bitterly bitterly cold about freezing to minus three even minus four degrees and that's your final weather update live here from Glen Cullen in South County Dublin for first time drivers young drivers returning drivers if you've had an open claim or have had too many penalty points the quote devil's always got one hell of a well, while lockdown has brought some couples closer together, for others it means spending more time apart. With Valentine's Day this weekend, clinical psychotherapist Stephanie Regan joins us now via Skype to talk about love and lockdown and how we can keep that spark alive. Uh, Stephanie, why is it important that we still celebrate Valentine's? We're, we're all kind of sick of the sight of each other. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hi, Tommy. Yes, absolutely. Look, I even saw you both when you were introducing it earlier. You were kind of going, oh, my God, where are we going to go with this? You know, I think the truth is I haven't I haven't met many people who have come an awful lot closer in lockdown. I think mostly people are finding it really quite difficult. And the truth is, here comes Valentine's and people are going, you know, oh, my God, we have to do all of that. But the truth is, I suppose, like, you know, people often say, oh, it's commercialised. They say, oh, you know, there's lots of reasons not to do it. But there's also lots of reasons to do it. And maybe you just have to find them. You have to um, we have to think about, I suppose, the fact that when we look forward to something it does us good, you know, and when we kind of plan towards it, we, we have something nice to look forward to, and we very much need that at the moment. So I think that Valentine's falls into that, I have to say. Uh, and do you think, is it just about making the effort? Sorry? Yes, I think, it's, I think it's very much, Tommy, about making the effort, letting each other know. I mean, what, you know, if you weren't in the pandemic, you would be saying, oh, we'll be out for a meal. You know, we do something nice. We'll make sure we have cards, flowers, a little gift for each other. Something that says that you means what you mean to me, why you're special to me, why I've committed my life to you, and what this is all about. And I think that I, I think that in the absence of that, okay, we've had Donald Ski in there earlier showing us how to make nice meals. That's that's obviously a lovely way. Personally I like to get out of the kitchen. So I would definitely think local restaurant, get get the food in. If I can, a takeaway, we can all rise to that. 
But I think you can make it special in other ways. I think you can also you can also bring the romance in, not just the dress up is one way. Not everybody feels they up for that or they want to do that. Um, but I think make it special. And I think you can do that by focusing on it ahead of time, planning on it, thinking about it. And I saw a lovely thing I came across, which I think would spark, if you like, romance in a, in a relationship again. That is to write down what you mean to each other and have that as a sort of a, something that you say out loud to each other before each course of the meal or each, you know, at a different point in the meal. And it's quite powerful. Now, it has to be, you know, it has to be meaningful, why you're important, what I like most about you, um, what I think is your most, you know, your best quality. And say it out loud. And I'd something be afraid very... <laughs> to hear what my wife would say. That would be of a can of worms. <laughs> But no, I know what you mean. It is about being honest, I suppose. And um, yeah, it's something I'm sure, it's something I'd find difficult to do, yeah. but it's probably a good thing to do. But it brings you on to a different level. That's the point. So you don't sit down and talk about just the food. You don't sit down and just talk about the day. You kind of, you're, you're, you're zoned into the relationship. Whereas normally what happens is you're out somewhere nice and there's a lot of there's a lot of lovely things happening that spark your kind of enjoyment we, we just don't have that and the other thing um which no one will be surprised i think that um just a kind of a fun fact but it's very well recognized that people find their partners most attractive when they see them at a distance that doesn't mean now 10 miles away, which, of course, would be greatly helpful. <laughs> but um, it means that, you know, if you're out and about, we all know if you're out at a party or you're somewhere and you kind of notice your partner and they're in great, having great fun and whatever, there is something there about the attraction that gets sparked again. Maybe it is that you see them the way you saw them first. But uh, it's a, you know, we're, we're missing that. So it isn't easy to keep desire completely going. So I think that people have to be just a little, lower their standards a little bit. We're not looking for high, high flying. We're looking for, we're looking for meaningful, a bit of joy together. And of course, where there is fun, you don't have fear and worry and concern. And pandemic is full of that. So have fun together. I mean, one of the things that I personally have found really nice is doing these, you know, these various things you can stream and kind of, it's almost like booking in, check in, make sure you're going to do that. You know, whether it's watching a show or a theatre thing, I find that really feels like a night out. So everybody finds the thing that really kind of works for them. And uh, that for me and a meal in, you know, bottle of fizzy, that can do it yeah. for me. Yeah, cocktails. I think that, that's what works in our eyes. Um, just on the psychology yeah. of that, seeing your partner at a remove, because I know you've spoken to us about that before. Is it that you see them being almost desired by someone else? And not even just in a flirty way, but just that the attention they're getting from someone else. Or is it it just reminds you of the early stages, perhaps, of when you saw them new? And I guess it's because we just don't have that, because we also don't have much news either. And if we have news, we end up talking about COVID-19. So what is the psychology of, kids. yeah, or just the domestic stuff takes over. So what is it about yeah. seeing your partner at a remove that makes, that is when you find them the most attractive? Yeah, well, I think psychology is simply that, you know, desire is about um, wanting, wanting what you can't have, but feeling safe enough to kind of explore that. So it's a kind of a, a to and fro of that. And the problem we have at the moment is, you know, there's, it's only just ever present. The person is just ever present to you. And uh, that is really killing desire. I mean, people are saying, you know, oh, you know, such an amount of sex in lockdown. I don't think so. I don't think that's what's happening. Um, I think that people are very much finding that their the spark is gone. They're tired looking at, it, you know, each other, you know, even listening to each other. So that distance factor is really missing. And I saw a, a hilarious um, uh, article uh, written there in The Times, and it was, you know, when I get past the 5K, I'm going to leave him. And I thought, <laughs> that's so funny, because I think that's what so many people are thinking. They're thinking, I can't listen to this story anymore. <laughs> I can't do this again today. So, you know, people have to just be nice. Remember, a very nice person said to me, you know, remember, we're all a little bit bored with each other. And that's OK, because that's just, I think, natural at the moment. But, you know, a little like going for sport, you know, you don't necessarily feel like doing it, but you should do it because you are important to each other. You are special. You are committed to each other. And of course, with those children there, 
you can get them involved in the whole love heart thing and all of that. And I think that's nice. But I think as adults, you do have to connect to each other and really say what's important.